What's going on, everybody? Andy Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are finally back once again here in Wreckfest, returning to Talladega for a classic installment of the NASCAR Legends, but with the highly requested Pinball Mod and Moon Gravity Mod thrown into the mix as well. Like I said, at your guys' demand, because you have been asking for that for quite some time now. We've got another Brad Keselowski car. Get your tinfoil hats on. We've got the 5G out. we got his recent Verizon car on here again to tear up for us today, and that, I'm sure, will happen because we're going to go try to get three dubs for Dale. See if we can give Red Byron a, a nice mega pack bump draft right as this race is beginning. First run of the day, and he's going to take that run right into the corner of Brandon Jones, and we're going to wreck everybody here and ourselves. We're not careful. Did a little grasshopper move. Somebody's already up in the fence. No idea what happened there. Turn one memed on them, though. That is for sure. And the eye side is... Oh, man. Bobby Hamilton made it work. I thought that was going to be a cluster right on our outside that we were going to have to deal with. We might have one right in front of us here. The Country Time car is going flying. The Snickers car spun, and Bobby Hamilton, where are you going? Oh, he took us right to the wall. And again, into a twister. Oh, we're right into traffic. Oh, the hit right in time. And we're just on the tracks. Don't mind me. Just chugging along. We're going to touch butts. Oh, me and Kale Yarbrough. What am I? Oh, no. Oh, my God. The brutality. Oh, my God. We've been rocked to the core and to the fence. We're just going to be chilling up here. Oh, my God. What a way to go. Wow. We're folded inward. Tires gone. The dreams have been dashed. Well, the race one replay, as is tradition, will show us how that unfolded there. Bobby Hamilton taking us to the inside wall and then taking us for a ride back up the banking along with the 48 flipping wildly overhead of us. But we didn't get a lot of time to admire that before we got launched down the tracks. As we slide into frame here with the 22, we give him a little boop. And he knocks us back onto the pavement where another 22 comes and picks us up. It's a 22 car conspiracy. They're out to get us. We may have located the Terminators. They're trying to give us another two. Red Byron, hold your damn lane, bro. Come on, man. That's what you get. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, now, this Bobby Labonte just passed me while wrecking end over end. It's a familiar sight for that 15 car. We got more cars wrecking. The 48's upside down again. The 22's twistering right back in front of me on the track. It's Kale again coming in with the attempted two check. Oh, God, Bobby Allison just taking out a car when there's four lanes to work with, and I almost pay the price. You can fit two cars through there, Bobby. You got to relax. You're almost taking us all out here, and there, there they go in front of us. Here we go. Oh, my God, there's a car 40 feet in the air. The seventh McMurray, where are you going? Oh, I just got to hold it in the middle. Holy Schrader just went to Mars, and I get clipped. Oh, me getting clipped is nothing, though. Schrader just went on a direct to Mars mission, and there they're coming back to Earth. Oh, the humanity, and Richard Petty's pulling right back up on track. You can see that coming. Dale Jarrett, gonna let me pass. He did. Wow, an AI that didn't have a murderous rampage in his mind couldn't be Wendell Scott. Damn it. No. Oh, damn it. This is not how I wanted to start the last lap, but we we're able to drive right out of it. Oh, the legendary plays and just grab it here and go. Listen, these AI, they can't hold me down no matter how bad they want to. This is the clickiest wheel of all time. Brett Moffa just packed somebody and paid the price and makes us play hole in the wall to squeeze through. And I can't believe it. We're going to come up just short on run number two. We're going to come home on the podium. With the winner in sight, that stings. Well, if we had had another lap, we might be looking at our first dub of the day. Unfortunately, we are just looking at a clown reel now. As you can see, they are flipping wildly down the backstretch. This is where Bobby passed us while flipping wildly through the air. And then you see the accident that happened in front of us as the 22 makes us duck and dive. Then we have the 26 hooking the eight. Us getting up on two wheels, and this just starts a boatload of problems. Down the road here in front of us, you see some cars getting launched. The seven car way up in the air. The 29 of Schrader gets smashed by Johnny Sutter in the eight. And that sends all of them collectively to Elon Musk's secret base on Mars. 
which uh, is definitely a real thing. And look, they're back. They're, they're right there. They just returned. It's that quick. That is the technology, man. They have got it. And keeping with the theme of Terminators, Wendell Scott parks are right in the middle of the road for us. And then, unfortunately, we and a few... Oh, God! Oh. Aww. What happened? I still believe in the three-dub dream. We can... Oh, they're dead. the dream is dead for some guys already. We didn't even make it to turn one. They're going backwards. KCK, these guys are nuts. These guys are actually insane. They have no desire to make it to turn one. Look, Ken Schrader up there riding the railroad tracks up on top of the safer barrier, which is not where you want to be here. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. just caused a wreck. Oh my God, and it comes right through us. That was like a flying V formation fleet that just went past us of cars. Oh, and a big hit right there for John Hunter Nemechek packed in somebody it looked like. And look at us, we are all kinds of banged up. Which way are you going, you morons? Oh my God. John Hunter Nemechek cleaned up again, rolled and smoked, my friend. We will see you later. We're gonna hold it up top here past Carl Edwards with the hydraulics on one side of his car. Got some real trash cans rolling around here. Now I got Terry Labonte in a heap up here. We got the leaders looking like they're about to get held up. Paul Menard just got smoked by somebody. That puts us on the podium. Oh, and a brutal hit to the fence for whoever that was. I think that was Schrader again. Oh, there it is. There's an ass pack right in front of us. That's Kyle Busch. Oh, and the six out of nowhere. And we're just going to flip down the inside wall. What the hell is this? What the hell was that? As a whole, in general. We're just gonna sit here and wait for somebody to come by and kill me. That's all I can hope for at this point. What on earth was that, man? Oh, this thing's not turning so good anymore. And there's Kyle Bush for the lead. We took Kyle Bush in his own car, by the way. Shout out to that and shout out to us for taking the lead from him with a car that doesn't really get to the corner that well. Ah, it's climbing the damn wall on me here. All right, all right. Squeeze through the Ricky Stenhouse hole. Oh my God, that is not a phrase that ever needs to be repeated. And even as much as I'd like to think about that, I can't because now I've got this beautiful serenade from the clicky wheel going on in my ears and I, I just, I can't deal with it. Wendell Scott, thank you for not taking me out again. Just keep your foot in it. That's all we can ask. There goes Cole Trickle. Just plowed into somebody and sent them all the way to the infield. Dale, Jared, what have you done? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't Dale Jarrett drive the 44 for a while? 22 plus 22. Uh, I see what you're up to, Dale. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. The Quaker State car is in the fence. And uh, luckily, he won't have to stay there for long because as we are coming through the trioval with a car that won't do 115 and can't steer and there's a car in the way. Oh, no. Don't take this from me here. I am so close. That car just went over the fence, by the way. Shout out to him. Shout out to all these fans that didn't just get final destination. And you're all witnesses to the first dub of the day. We have got it with a car that looks like it just got out of a brutal demo derby. So in the replay booth here to watch our first dub unfold. This was a lot like a demo derby, actually. We've got some carnage off of the corner here that gets us all twisted up and turned around and cars flying over top of us landing all around but we were somehow able to gather it up and then we had the ass packing of a lifetime that secretly revealed that six car that was hiding back there and then he gets launched to the infield oh my god another space force recruit on his way to join the ranks an honorable sacrifice that we have made many times ourselves and uh, this is just something you have to do here in rec it's part of the game oh as is tradition a couple clowns up there memeing on each other in turn one and it's spreading. Oh, it's really spreading through the pack. They are getting twisted up here. Cars coming up the track. Dale gets us. We're up and over the fence. Cleared it. And pirouetting onto our roof in the outfield and through the world. Oh, my God. We're going to Narnia. Could be going to hell for all I know. This could go anywhere. This is this has never ended well, though. That's all I know. Got to be careful of that detour here at Talladega that will take you straight to the nether. We seem to be good at finding it. We'll see the wreck here coming up to us as it completely unfolds. Just absolute buffoonery in all lanes. 
from all kinds and you see us just flying through the air and the 24 just gets launched into another wreck that happens down the backstretch my goodness this was out of our sight but that is incredible the snickers car hitting invisible walls cars flying and flailing all down the racetrack with nothing better to do goodness this this is the greatest set of mods ever come on boys terry labani putting himself in the wall and they're wrecking up front they are big time wrecking up front we have got a big one. Oh my god a bunch of cars flipping down the infield oh one over the fence more cars crashing right here in front of us gaining time in the air flipping up and over are they gonna land back on the track johnny sauter's gonna land right in front of us holy smokes him and wendell scott nearly heat seeked us they almost got us in and a shot from red byron the bump draft that might actually help might give us a run here these guys don't wreck each other and right on cue brandon jones out for blood in that 48 car all those xfinity series wins again to his head Come on, Casey, don't go up. Don't fall back in line. We're trying to make the pass here, you dope. That's what you get. Go check the barrels. Let me know what they're all doing. Oh, my holy sh on my life. How are we going to keep having these close calls? Oh, my God. Somebody just got Space Force two Mars, and we got one pulling right down in front of us. And I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to reset right there. But that might actually keep us in the race. That might have been a happy accident. As cars are still flipping over the fences. We're in third and now second. Where is Paul Menard? Is he wrecking down the racetrack right here? Yes, he is. The 22s have failed. And we are in the lead. Oh, but maybe not for long. Kyle Busch spinning. We got somebody going over the fence into the stands. Dunk and cover. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to be careful out here when you're at Talladega. You never know what could hit you. Dale Jarrett just might take you to the wall and disintegrate your car. Are you serious, Dale? You get what you deserve. Keep flipping down there. Let's see if we can get even one stroke of luck. Somebody up here. Jeff Gordon just got pile drive into the wall. They can't even get off the starting line. These geniuses. Casey Kane showing us the proper technique of how to start a race. What a bum. Y'all right up here, Terry. I can see you got bodied back there right off the start we're falling in line with you and let you push us hopefully right past whatever this nonsense is oh terry i'm bodied again this is just close call mania oh we got another one going up and over there at the front there comes john on our check we'll be seeing you mayfield's gonna make me dive through the hole and there's a car on the other side and we're just frolicking through the tulips now in the infield and we are going end over end. I'm gonna need a sick bag and uh, maybe just a trash bag to throw my remains in at this point. If we could maybe come back to rest on the wheels, just what you love to see. Like nothing even happened. DJ's laying in a heap right there. There's kind of dead cars left, right and center all over the place. As we're gonna cross halfway here, we're gonna have to squeak by a couple really crunched in cars. We got cars going to the infield here in front of us. One of them was Kyle Busch at the 15. Still passing cars. Got to look at the lead here. Wendell Scott and I. Going to be rather easy. Is John Hernimacek going to be in the way? Absolutely he is. White flag in the lead. Oh, get Stenhouse away from me. Yarbrough's been grilled. We got somebody just sitting, rolling in the middle of the racetrack. Dead. If you could get off the racetrack please that would be great and that should do it past Dell Jarrett and a bit of poetic justice we are gonna get that second dub of the day we'll slide it across the line in celebration we've only got one more to go two dubs down at Talladega and let's take a look at how we got there here through the replay as you can see the backstretch was a regular area for action, but we made it through on the opening lap. Then you get out of turn four here, and we've got a car up in the fence up at the front, and they're going to make us do a dive through a hole that closes up. And then you see us just doing the most through the infield. And then finally we dig in like Ryan Briscoe IndyCar style. 
And then that uh, that pretty much finishes us off. We could have got collected by these guys, but they took care of themselves, and we finally land on the wheels. I like to think there's a alternate universe out there somewhere where Red Byron and William Byron are related, and I just blatantly wrecked him right off the start. Oh, no, it's becoming a thing. The 15 flying overhead, and I'm going to get clipped. The payback, the retribution. Oh, you win this day, Red. Oh, oh Bobby, what are you doing, Bobby? It doesn't get any more blatant than that. Waited on me. Literally, wait, and he did it again. That is, that is two blatant acts of hatred. All right. I, I will be, we can play this game, buddy. You punk. Come back. Come back. I'm not done with you. Just wait till I land. Oh, Jesus, wait till I get smoked by this guy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Spared by Bobby Hamilton. Come here. Come here. I've got the taste for destruction. Come here, Labani. Remember the end of that 2002 Talladega race? We had that Coca Cola car and you. you, 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 you ah! Oh, no. <laughs> get the tarp out, stat. Oh, they're wrecking for the lead. They are wrecking for the lead at the front. Kyle Busch up in the air. Cole Trickle, it's everybody. It's everybody. Oh, keep, oh, oh no. Kale. Kale, we just had to tuck in. That's all we had to do. Oh, and right into the back of Stenhouse with the crystal clear ass pack. And somebody is just flying through space. I think it is Stenhouse. He's over the fence. He's gone into another realm. We'll be seeing you. I wonder if he'll wake up in the Skyrim carriage like we usually do. This bum drag race off the corner with truck champ Bobby Hamilton, one of the classic drivers. We're going to get up on top of him and save him. What the hell is that? The 48 just flying at us in reverse. Nothing to see here. No big deal. Oh, look at the destruction. Brett Moffat laying on the track. Who's this Richard Petty? Got Harry Gant. Everybody laying everywhere. Stenhouse just got punted. Oh, we got Bobby Hamilton laying in the track again. Bobby, when will it end, Bobby? I want peace. I want a truce. I lost a wheel. I I'm going to lose all control. I am going to live on another plane of existence for the rest of this challenge. If I as much as see Bobby Labonte out there on the track, it's over for him. Me and him are done. Never in my life have I been so ready to perpetuate a blood feud than I have been right now with Bobby Labonte. But before we do that, we got to see how we got there first. We got tipped by Kale Yarbrough in the Joey car. He did not have any reason to do what he did. He did it anyway, as is the Terminator's MO 150% of the time. And then up here, you will see we're dodging all these absolute wastes of space out here and then who's parked in the road no one other than the beast himself and then we get space force i've got my wings now give me the suit give everything to me we know the ufos are real now so uh, i'm definitely getting blasted in outer space can't wait for that can't wait to get smoked by an alien that's gonna be tremendous the ai have been doing it for years spectacular i swear i know terry didn't do this but he's got to pay a little bit the Labani bloodline must suffer for what they've done to me today. And I've caused lots of suffering just now. There's cars wrecking. An ambulance just got hit. I just barrel checked. We should be banned from this racetrack for life and maybe all racetracks for life, but they could never. Bobby Hamilton. What is with all you Bobbies attacking me, dude? It is literally attacking the Bobbies. I won't stand for this. I gotta, I gotta, we're going backwards. This game's getting scary, man. It's attacking my brain. Leave my brain alone, you Terminators! Oh my god, we just sent Kyle Busch on a mission to an unidentified land, an undiscovered planet. And he's gonna come back in one of those spacecrafts that nobody knows what the hell it is. Meanwhile, we're just wrecking down here. Don't mind us ass packing the wall and watching the field wreck on by us. What an absolutely obscene hit that was. We're toasted, our wheel's gone. Oh, we got one flying into the fence right overhead, Paul Menard. Well, there's not a whole lot to review uh, in this one, except for a few of our acts of terrorism, including this one right from the start where we uh, lay waste to the little Bonnie bloodline uh, that, that did not need to happen. But 
It was deemed necessary and so it shall be and then BAM I hit from Bobby Hamilton getting another hit in for Team Bobby. Then you have our Joe Buck style disgusting act that we committed towards Kyle Bush where we just we removed him from this world. He was sent on a mission right through the space cheese that is the moon and beyond to discover whatever else lies below beyond and below above who knows with this track because you're, you're bound to go everywhere we have to look at this from kyle bush's view and first from the ground just watching him fly the cameras can barely even keep up and they're gone now from the perspective of kyle bush the 5g coming in hot you should have worn the tinfoil hat I tried to warn you right at the start and look at the door all the way caved in Kyle Busch with a spine alignment for all time and then just checking out the farmlands before returning back to earth he did discover teleportation technology on that trip Let's see if we can give the red Byron a shot right as we cross the line it's gonna kill him no I'm sorry red I'm only trying to help, and we got the cold trickle flipping up here. We got everybody going, oh, it's a big one. We're going to duck and dive out of the way. Here we get. Oh, how are we living? Cars going all around us, and we sneak right through like a ninja. One going over the fence. He's going to land in the RV lot. That's going to be a hell of a souvenir. Carvick, stay down there, please. My God, we're already on the podium. We're in turn three, and we have gained a obscene amount of spots. Make it second. Where is Kyle Busch? I want that ass. A wise man once said, here, kitty, kitty. Come on, Kyle. He's putting himself on the wall. He's dumb. Oh, and the record right in front of him. Oh, hoo, hoo. How are we missing these? We're getting so lucky. Back on the racetrack in the lead. Kyle Busch just sent to the shadow realm, evaporated turn to dust ashes Adams oh we got another pack up there that was a serious pack ho, 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 right by our head again getting shaves and haircuts from everybody as we entered the last lap last corners cars down on the inside all of them out of the way I think we can celebrate as we are gonna come get our third dub for Dale, nobody's gonna mess with us. We're gonna cross that line. If somebody crosses over ahead of us, we get the dub. One final trip to the replay booth here as we wrap things up for today. We gotta check out how we got to this glorious third dub for Dale at the site of his final win. What better place to do it? We got it done and it wasn't easy. We're going to check out how it was done, but what a sensational day at the track. I hope that was worth the wait for you guys because I had a lot of fun running it here today. And you can see the carnage all the way down the backstretch. Cars flipping outside of the fence was a key factor today. It was a real, real just slug fest, I would call it. But we managed to get it done. Kyle Bush, one of our key adversaries today, right there, about to get blasted and give us the lead. And he was only one of many adversaries. I mean, Bobby Labani, absolute disgusting what he did to us. And we will not forget this. This will never be forgotten. The 22s in general, just disgraceful today. We will remember this. And one final nice little camera shot here of a big old wreck coming at you. Let's see this. Oh, just a massive one on the opening lap cars getting packed getting super boosted and we just cruise on through baby cool as a cucumber to the dub what more can you ask for so that will pretty much do it everybody thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did you know what to do go down hit that like button and subscribe leave me a comment down below let me know what you want to see in the near future that stuff always helps me out a ton and with that i think that'll do it Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Boom!